We are all grateful for the resurgence that's taking place in the greater Buffalo area, but that resurgence doesn't happen for everyone. Pathway of Hope is a way in which we can make a difference in people's lives so that they can experience the same resurgence that the rest of our community is enjoying. We need your help. We need you to support us and to support Pathway of Hope as we endeavor to make a difference in people's lives. Buffalo has been known as one of the top five poorest cities in the country and all we have been doing is been serving, not solving. And we really need to, once and for all, break the, that intergenerational cycle of poverty in order for, future for the future children of this community. You know, the, the, the growth of Buffalo and the transformation of Buffalo has been much talked about. And, but if we don't help the kids coming up that have, been, have lived in poverty, then all our work is for naught. What I find so inspiring about the Pathway of Hope program is that the Army is going to go from serving to solving. This expansion of services is very, very critical to help families move beyond their crises and get on the path to addressing the challenges that they face in their particular family unit. Uh, by looking at their strengths, uh, looking at the problems that they have to face and deal with, and to be able to do that with someone who's by your side, who is a professional who can help connect you to the supports and the services in the community that can help you address the very specific challenges you face and then walk the path with you as you begin to move towards your goals and achieve your goals, that's very powerful. We were scared that we were going to be living out of our truck for a while. It was a hard time. I literally lived in a house with no running water and no heat. That's what we were looking at is, well, I hope tomorrow I have a roof. I hope tomorrow I have food. I lost my job. And right after that, I found out I had Lyme disease. We knew we had a child on the way. We just, we didn't know how things were gonna go. Now I'm a mom and I have to figure out how to pay bills and find a house to put my child in and provide food for her. I was trying anything to get even a minimum wage job. I just needed something. And you can't just survive for yourself because if it would have been me, I would have chose not to. So then we went back homeless, um, you know, living in a family shelter. I was completely convinced that it was a cycle that was never gonna end. You're just, you're hopeless. Pathway of Hope is an important shift in how the Salvation Army provides services to people seeking help and hope. It gives them a little bit of guidance where um, may they've sat down in their life and decided they just didn't know what to do. Nancy was there, and she has been a huge guiding point. Nobody had been willing to help us without getting something in return. It's not easy for people to ask for help. We all fall down, but this is how you get up. There's no shame in falling down. The shame is staying down there. To finally have somebody who was willing to give us a break. The Salvation Army has always tried to look at the whole person. Mind, body, soul, spiritually. Vital to the process is the relationship. We see the potential in them. We see what they can be. The Pathway of Hope helps them set up goals, and then we work as a team to provide the necessary actions to accomplish that goal. Each step is really customizable based on the needs of the family who comes to us. 
calling a doctor's office, getting your prescription done. How do I do my taxes? Here. This is the skill that you need right now. It's available. Just come take it. You have resources that you can tap into to get your needs met. Within an hour's time, we had the cover letter, the resume, all sent in. I got back to the house in time for the phone interview. God has a plan for each one of us. Sometimes we can't see it. She pulled me out with these baby steps, and then I began to start seeing, oh. It's not a doing for you, it's a doing with you. If they allow us to come alongside them, they will begin to experience a transformation that they didn't think they were one deserving of, but also capable of. You're not just teaching somebody how to budget their money. There is far more going on than what you can see on a budget sheet. It's a blessing to see them grow from feeling helpless to feeling self-confident. It's about restoring dignity. The last crisis that hit, I was so proud to go to Nancy and say, this is what I did. And she says, I am so proud of you. I feel honored to be her mentor and to help make a difference in her life. We have the tools now that we need to figure out how to be able to push on. It's going to help a lot of people. We're gonna see lives transformed for the good and to the glory of God. I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby.